in this uh, in this case today, we're talking about Liberty Freight TV was denied public defender by this judge, and we don't have that recording yet, which means we get to make another video to show you just how fucking stupid Judge Rudolph is. And now that you realize that he's a prosecutor's prosecutor, and then when you realize that he was a state public defender for years, you're like, where the fuck did this guy go? How, how can you understand defendants and represent defendants at the state public defender's office for years and then be such a blue bag? Well, that's simple. You know, this is, this is one of those, like, you need to spend more time in the law library than the golf course kind of things, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Because law library versus the gun range, that's the cops. Because they don't have a fucking clue what the hell they're doing. Or 90% of us wouldn't be in the box taking it to the courts to begin with, right? So... So he hasn't stayed up to date on 404. He's not, and I'm going to show you why he's so stupid. An indigent person is one whose financial circumstances prevent the person from having equal access to legal processes. And there are three documents associated with this. Attachments A, B, and C. That sounds very, very basically laid out with specific and intentional effort. Exactly. And the reason why the Supreme Court did this is so that judges like Rudolph, who are fucking stupid, don't actually have to think about things. Now, this video is a training video as much for us as it is for Judge Rudolph and the other judges there, because I expect them to watch this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, let's see. Pursuant to state law... 21-1-103, subsection 3, the initial determination of indency shall be made pursuant to the subject public defender. There's the initial part. And this is extraordinarily important, so please do pay attention. Subject to review by the court! Ding, ding, ding! This is like the emergency alert system going off right now, folks. What Subject to review by the court. Why would this matter, Eric? Why would you ever want to tell people that the court is the final determiner of who could qualify for the public defender's office, no matter how big their family or how many shoes they got to put on kids' feet? Why would the judge want to do that? Well, because we don't, because the, the, the expenditure of this kind of money is not something that you want to put in the hands of a clerk that gets paid barely minimum wage. That's why you want to put in the hand. This is a judicial ruling. This is a finding by a judge for the disbursement of public monies. And whether or not you get public defender resources is absolutely, clearly, 100% of the time, a finding that must be made by a judge. It's a court order. So what you're telling me is that somebody who makes like 12 to $15 an hour cannot be the final determinant of millions and millions of dollars of expenses that go through the legal system on an annual basis to make sure that the Constitution is honored? Nancy is not a judicial officer. Alice Norman is not a judicial officer. They no. do not have the authority to officate and order the expenditure of funds. So they just fill out the papers. That's right. But actually, are they filling out the papers is the question. They're and not. I think that's the problem, right? Right because here, attachments A, B, and C. But I've been to the I've been there. I've only gotten one sheet of paper. Sometimes it's double sided. Sometimes it's only page one of two. I know, isn't that curious? Okay, but the funny thing is is that this is what I want you to remember as we move forward. Subject to review by the court. Now, the public defender can make the initial determination. Why is this? For expediency, there are timers such as this twenty one day jury timer. Wait, okay. wait a second. So the public defender can say, yes, we qualify. We can start working on your case now. And then it saves you an extra trip and it moves things along. So the public defender is allowed to say, 
yeah, it looks like you're going to qualify. We can start our work. And then when you go into court the next time, the public defender always asks the court that they be appointed at this time. He qualifies. We want to be appointed now. Right. And at the same time that they're doing that, we're now the public defender representing him. Let's go ahead and establish the jury fee. Uh, that's this, exactly right. That's waves. standard. That's, that's exact. And if you're qualified for the public defender, you probably qualify for the fee to be waived. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, now let's take a look. So, everybody fills out this JDF 208. The party must complete JD2, JFD, JF2, and submit it to the court for approval. Not the clerk behind the window? Not Nancy. No. The, the, the scoring mechanism gets handed to the judge, and the judge says, oh, it looks like you're being appointed a public defender. In all cases. Wait, how many cases? The court. All of them. It's Not, a universal quantifier. It means each and every one. And there can be no exceptions for the statement to be true. No exceptions. No exceptions. Right? All persons shall complete JDF. And complete the form means both fucking sides, motherfucker. Uh-huh. All cases, the court retains jurisdiction to determine whether they are indigent based on the information available. Damn it, I missed Andy's call. We're calling him back. Keep going. Upon receipt of the finding by the public defender on the issue of eligibility in accordance with the fiscal standards, the court shall review the person's application, including any requests for exception to the determination of the public defender. The court. For exception. Uh, uh, yeah, Brian Lowe calling for Andy or I think it was Jamie. What would an exception be, Eric? The exception might be that you have extraordinarily high rent. Or lots of kids. Good, Andy, how you doing? The court uh, want, shall enter an order either granting or denying the person's request of the public of the public defender. The court shall enter an order either granting or denying based on a review of the information available. Now, let's, let's take a look here. I'm on page two. Page two. That's one and, and two. That's one and two. And this is the procedure headed indigency determination. So this is how it is done. These are the steps. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. When I'm watching your video, 